Windows 7 was originally released in October 2009, making it over 15 years old. Not many people use Windows 7 now, as Microsoft ended support for it in January 2020, meaning it no longer receives security patches or feature updates, and most modern apps have stopped supporting it. While it's technically possible to run Windows 7 on an older PC or a virtual machine, it's an outdated operating system and not recommended for daily use especially for tasks that require a high level of security or compatibility with modern software. In this video, we will explore whether you can still use Windows 7 in 2025 and what you can do if you are still using it. Windows 7 was very popular when it was first released and quickly gained market share because it offered a great improvement over Windows Vista, with a more user-friendly interface, better performance, and fewer system interruptions, making it widely considered a reliable and easy-to-use operating system. In 2012, it became the most widely used desktop operating system in the world. Although its popularity has declined over the years, as more users have moved to newer versions of Windows, such as Windows 10 and Windows 11, some users are still running Windows 7. As of January 2025, Windows 7 only has a 2.25% market share, but this still indicates that over 1 in 50 traditional PCs are running Windows 7, equivalent to tens of millions of PCs worldwide. Some people may still use Windows 7 because of several reasons. Some users may find the user interface and layout of Windows 7 to be more user-friendly and familiar than newer versions, in particular the classic start menu, transparent window theme, and simplicity. Some older applications or specialized software may not have compatible versions for Windows 10 or Windows 11, forcing users to stick with Windows 7. Also, some users may not be able to upgrade because PCs with older hardware may not be able to run newer Windows versions smoothly, making Windows 7 the only suitable option until they purchase a new PC. Windows 7 is more vulnerable to malware and other malicious attacks than newer versions of Windows. Windows 7 no longer receives security updates as it reached its end of support on the 14th of January 2020, so any new security holes or bugs discovered in the operating system will not be fixed by Microsoft. This means that anyone using Windows 7 has not received official support from Microsoft for over five years now. That's enough for a lot to change in the world of technology and make the operating system a security risk, with likely a large number of unpatched vulnerabilities. Commercial users, like businesses, could pay for extended security updates for up to three years until the 10th of January 2023. But even that period is over, meaning Windows 7 is now completely unsupported by Microsoft. Over the years, several security holes have been discovered in Windows 7, which malware can take advantage of. Without official support, Microsoft is no longer required to disclose these vulnerabilities, making it harder for users to stay informed about potential security risks. However, most major antivirus companies still offer support for Windows 7, allowing you to install and use their software to add a layer of protection. While antivirus software can help remove malware on a Windows 7 PC, it will still not address the security holes in the operating system itself, so it can only go so far as to protect you if malware is designed to take advantage of any vulnerabilities. Modern malware may find clever ways to sneak past antivirus software, so you will need to be careful and vigilant when using a Windows 7 PC online. Most modern apps are not compatible with Windows 7. More apps will be developed, but Windows 7 will not support them. Most modern apps developed today require at least Windows 10 to work properly. Virtually all major web browsers, including Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge and Firefox, stopped supporting Windows 7 in 2023. Other apps, like the OneDrive desktop app, Dropbox desktop app, Steam, OBS Studio and Zoom have also stopped supporting Windows 7. While older versions of these apps will continue to work, you won't have access to any more security or feature updates. Using older versions of web browsers can be a security risk if they have vulnerabilities that developers have addressed in newer versions. Over time, as new web technologies appear, you may start to notice that modern websites do not load properly, as they may use newer web technologies and standards that older versions of browsers do not support, so it will affect your ability to browse the internet. If you're still using Windows 7, many experts would recommend upgrading to a later version of Windows, like Windows 10 or Windows 11, for optimal security and compatibility with modern apps. If your current hardware is too old to run a newer Windows version effectively, you might need to purchase a new PC. If you plan on continuing to use Windows 7 in 2025, we recommend that you limit your internet usage on the operating system 
only access trusted websites, not visit obscure websites filled with ads and pop-ups, and not use it for sensitive tasks which require secure access, like online banking, online shopping, or storing sensitive files. We would also recommend protecting your browser with ad blocking and script blocking extensions, such as uBlock Origin, NoScript, and Ghostery. Many antivirus programs still work on Windows 7, so you should install a reliable antivirus program and keep it updated. While an antivirus can still help you stay protected on Windows 7, it's still not enough to fully safeguard your system in 2025. The lack of system-level updates and modern security features makes Windows 7 more vulnerable to viruses and malware. If this video was useful for you, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to receive notifications whenever new content is posted, you can click on the bell icon after subscribing.